What's going on YouTube to my followers? How you guys doing? It's been a while since I've been on here. I'm actually gonna be doing a walk around today with my C8 Corvette, showing you the modifications on the vehicle and explaining some questions I've been getting in my comments. So without further ado, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and get ready to take a look at my 2020 C8 Corvette being transformed. I basically um, purchased the base model uh, with the non Z51 package. And then I'll explain to you all the modifications that I have to do to get the car to what I'm gonna be liking, okay guys? So follow me as I walk you around my 2020 C8 Corvette. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys. So what you're looking at here is the rear spoiler that has been installed on our C8 Corvette. This rear spoiler is all carbon fiber. I'm gonna stop the camera a little bit so you can see it. And you can see that the rear wing is all carbon fiber. This wing can be installed two different ways. One, you can actually install it with 3M tape because the actual wing is, you know, pretty flush with the bumper. They have pre-drilled holes in the wing that actually are slotted for the Z51 packages. C8s that has been ordered. So once you take off your Z51 wing, the holes are already lined up in this rear wing. The wing that I purchased and installed is actually installed with a 3M tape. And as you see, the wing is in there pretty, pretty good and pretty flush. And as I walk around, you can see that it's really, really flush with the bumper. Under here, the brake light will actually show through there at night. Looks really, really nice. The curves and the cut is really, really nice. And as you see, it's just separated a little bit from the hood. So once you pop the hood, it comes right up. So the wing is not on the hood. The curves in this wing was really, really nice. When I ordered this vehicle, I ordered it without the Z51 package, so I did not get a wing. I did not get the upgraded brakes. And as you all know, I didn't get the rear camera. So I'll go ahead and just say that the aftermarket parts so far are more to my liking. And this wing is really, really nice. It just looks like it's pretty much from the factory. When everyone sees it, I have to literally tell them that this is an aftermarket wing because it actually flows with the car. So very nice. I'll step back so you can see it. Many questions may have been asked. Um, it actually has been holding on really, really well. Um, the body shop that put the 3M, 3M tape on um, pretty much assured me that it's not gonna come off because they put paneling on vehicles with the same tape and um, it can easily be removed. But right now it's actually on there really, really good. So what I'm gonna go over now is the aftermarket wheels are from Black Diamond. They're 20 on the rear and 20 on the front, but the rear is a 20 by 12, and that's why you see it sticking out a little bit, um, mainly because I put a 325 tire on there. So that's a 325 tire on there. It's a 325 30 20. Um, that's a Michelin Sport. And as you all see, um, I actually have the black brake calibers because this is a non-Z51 vehicle. 
our KW coilover springs have been ordered because this car cannot be lowered without them. So once they actually do come, I'll be doing another video of that being installed on my 2020 C8 Matrix Gray Corvette. In the front of the vehicle, we're running 20 inch wheels also. And we're most likely gonna end up upgrading these tires. Um, I ordered a 245, 30, 20. It looks like the tires kind of stretched a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and up that to a, a 255, 35, 20 on the front. So it can stand tall like this back tire. Been talking to a couple of guy, car guys here and looked at it. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing wrong with it. It looks great. But based off our Chicago roads and things like that, and I want to really drive my car, I'm going to get a little bit more thicker and wider tire for the front here. But these black diamond wheels are really, really nice, guys. I'm just going to give you a little stance of how this car looks sitting. Oh, man, this thing is really nice. But yeah, this is the Matrix Gray. And as you all know, it comes through on these cell phones and cameras like it's white, but it's a Matrix Gray. And it's just really hard to show this color a certain way. The red interior looks nice. So we went with the same carbon fiber splitter in the front. Once again, another aftermarket part that looks factory. And that's what I like, but this carbon fiber sticks out a whole lot farther than a lot of splitters that I have seen. Um, it doesn't come up on the side because it's just, the lines just look really neat with this splitter. And I will be putting all the information in the bottom of the description of everything that was put on the car with the carbon fiber lip and the wing and the wheels and the tires. So our last couple modifications we're waiting on is our custom exhaust that's being made, our custom sport cats that's being made, and our KW coilover springs so we can lower this car. I made sure I left the windows down so you can get a good look at the vehicle. The CA Corvette is, uh, as you guys know, a real popular car this season. And I'm lucky to be a proud car owner of this vehicle. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and um, just show you guys what the factory exhaust sounds like one more time. And you have heard it many, many, many a times, but it just never gets old. Thank you guys for walking around with me today. Post your comments and give me some feedback. As here on YouTube, we try to definitely do the best we can to give you all very good content. And I hope that you guys enjoyed my walk around of my Matrix Gray C8 Corvette. And make sure you guys share my videos and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching PL Luxury Reviews.